Hello everyone, welcome to this week's story. Um, but there was a little bit of a mix up. The story I did last week should have been this week, and so this week's story um, should have been last week. But I'm going to tell you this evening. You, you get the, the idea. But anyway, it's about Bellamy the lazy bee. Bellamy B was not happy. He knew what he should be doing. He should be doing his job, which is collecting pollen. That was the right thing for him to do. But as most of us know by now, doing the right thing sometimes takes a bit of effort. It takes energy. And Bellamy was not happy about making the effort to do the right thing. After all, his friends always did make mistakes, so he thought it was okay for him to do it as well. It seemed to Bellamy that nobody else was out there collecting pollen, so why should he be? The whole thing seemed seriously unfair to him. So instead of going to collect pollen, he put his feet up and did nothing. He relaxed. <sighs> he knew what the right thing was, but he didn't want to do it. In the morning, he relaxed. In the afternoon, he relaxed. He didn't do what he should be doing at any time of the day. And at the end of the day, all the other bees started to return. Bartholomew and Basil came back loaded with pollen, and so did most of the other bees. Not as much as ba Basil and Bartholomew, but certainly a lot of pollen. When the other bees saw Bellamy, they were confused. Hmm. He didn't seem to have any pollen at all. He didn't even look tired. They asked him how this could be, and he told them plainly enough, I didn't do any work today. I decided not to do the right thing, so I stayed in and relaxed. And furthermore, I think I'll stay in and relax tomorrow as well. Relaxing is a whole lot better than working. The other bees couldn't believe what they were hearing. They always worked hard. They always did the right thing. They decided to say no more about it and made their way instead to the dining room. Bellamy was hungry. In fact, all that relaxing made him very hungry indeed. Not to worry, tonight was his favourite. Honey on toast, followed by honey cake and custard. Sounds nice, actually. All the bees ate together in a huge dining room. They all stood as usual as the Queen entered and took her seat. She had left Betsy waiting. She hadn't decided what she would do yet. The Queen said grace. Bellamy's tummy rumbled. Then the bees began to sit down. The Queen ordered that the food be served and then she added, but no food is to be given to Bellamy. <gasps> Bellamy protested, but your majesty, I'm hungry, I need food. And the Queen looked at Bellamy and slowly added, bees that do the right thing get the blessings for doing the right thing. In this case, honey cake and custard. Bees that don't want to do the right thing don't get the blessing. Bellamy slumped in his chair. He wished he'd done the right thing. In the same way, God made us a promise. When we hunger and thirst for righteousness, we will be blessed. Good little story. And there'll be another one next time. In the meantime, have a great weekend and have a really great half term. Bye.